G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, Strider, Vicky and myself, we spend three days out on the jet ski doing different adventures around the place. The weather is beautiful. I actually do something that I've been trying to do since I was a grommet, I was so stoked. And then the weather just turned on, it was clear, hot, beautiful, and we're halfway through today. There's so much going on in this episode and I'll roll those clips on from the start. Let's go. She burns the bridges in my head by lighting up a fire. Bury my old thoughts instead So you can feel the same I lay alone with you inside my mind We would dance the night away to the morning light Can I give you all of my love Till we dance Morning. Oh, let me come to watch you guys. Woo! We finally got in the drink and got our dream fish off the jet ski. Oh my god, this thing is not small. I'll roll on the clips of just before. Oh, of the dream mahi. You see this blue water behind us that me and Strider just found? Well, the plan today is that we're going to hop in it and we're going to swim around, and that's it. That's my only plan that I've got. We're out on the jet ski. Whoa, we're out on the jet ski, and uh. I'm so bloody excited about this. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Almost 20 meters deep here, and I can see every grain of sand on the bottom. Oh my god, man, I'm peaking, hey. Oh, you can, it is so clear. You guys don't understand. It's, it's amazing. I'm freaking out a little bit. I've just seen three or four good sized wahoo and a mahi and i've never seen one on a jet ski before so i could have caught them on the line but it's like my goal for a long time to shoot one off the jet ski please do not dive on your own i'm setting a bad example for you young fellas watching at home i'm not going to dive very deep i'm hanging off the back of the ski but it's still so dangerous to separate yourself from your ve your vessel but this has been my lifelong dream so i'm getting in the drink and i'm going to attempt it strider's got my back anyway holy shit! if this works if I smack a wahoo, um, I'm gonna swim straight to the jet ski, hop on the jet ski, and fight it from the jet ski just for safety. There is a high chance that there's some big sharks around too. This area does house some big, big sharks. Uh, oh my God. Oh, there's a big mahi just swam past. The other thing is I've only got a 1000 because I didn't expect to be out in the blue water. I can see that mahi. I'm gonna get a mahi guys, it's on. It's done. <laughs> Love getting my adrenaline going like this. Wish me luck, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
dolphin fish off the jet ski are you kidding me are you kidding me my adrenaline is out of control right now just being in the elements you know just me and Strider out in the middle of nowhere like I mentioned before all you young fellas Please don't dive alone, I really set a bad example then. Um, oh, that's the biggest, that's one of my biggest goals. And that's gonna feed me, my family and my friends for days and days. <laughs> one of the best things about Mahi Mahi or dolphin fish is their super fast growth rate and their amount of spawning. They breed really quick. They're worldwide and they're a great feed. They freeze quite well. They're one of my favorite fish to targets. I can't talk. And they're one of my favorite fish to target. This is a male. Obviously you can tell by the big head. The females have more of a rounded head. It's a big bull. We call these guys bulls for those of you that don't know. I am so pumped, man. I'm gonna get this guy on ice real quick. I might even have to uh, chop him in half, fortunately, to keep him nice and cool, but that's okay. I've put him out of his misery straight away as soon as I got a hand on him, uh, brained him, that completely isolated him and then I bled him to keep the flesh good. I let the reel go free spool for when I was by myself, just in case anything happened, there's no tension or anything like that. And the most important thing I did, I'm not sure if you noticed while I was biting that fish, is I made sure I kept an equal eye on the cord as well as the fish. I never wanted to become entangled and I also had an eye on the boat at all times. I didn't want to be within one lunge to the boat if anything happened. Oh, here comes that wind. <laughs> that was just perfect. Got to dive in the glassy blue water and that wind's just picking over now. Well, I mean, it's a pretty good problem to have. The fish doesn't fit in the esky. So I'm going to chop him in half, get him in there, put ice over the top of him and he'll be beautiful. Oh. And I got him on ice straight away. An important thing to note what I did is I made sure I chopped just below the stomach and all that. If you pop the stomach, it could infect the flesh and it might make you a little bit sick. You never know what those little buggers been eating. That wind is in now, so me and Strider are gonna start cruising back towards the inside of the reef. Go for a bit of a cruise, maybe for another swim. We're bloody pumped, we got all we wanted and more. It, the elements really had to line up for me to be able to do that, especially solo. There was no wind, no tide, glassy, clear. I spotted the fish before I hopped in the water and I just got lucky. And all those elements had to line up perfectly for me to be able to do that. So it's taken me a long time, but I finally ticked that one off the list 
and it feels good, you know, and I'm gonna have a good feed out of it. Oh, shit! That was the biggest Spanish mackerel I've ever hooked onto. He spat the hooks. Did you see that hit? I started, like I gave up. I like started just thinking it was too close to the boat. What I think was gonna happen and then smash! Straight off the bottom like a torpedo. A big bullet just smacked it. This big barrel just come glistening out in the sun. Just about passed out, just about passed away. I fell in the water. Can we take a moment to appreciate the colour of the damn water? It looks like a big swimming pool. It's so clear. <laughs> oh. We might chuck the anchor out and go for a quick swim before heading back to the ramp. Just Good girl, strut him on. <laughs> well, we're both stoked. What a beautiful morning that was. It's midday right now. I'm gonna shoot back, head home, catch up with Victoria, fillet me mahi. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I'll see you guys back at Moss Land. You good, Strutter? Oh, I still can't get over the color of the water. You, 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 you. Good morning everyone. I'm just getting the ski ready for another mission today, hopefully. But I just want to run you guys through what I keep in my jet ski for safety, especially on those big offshore sands solo, what you've just seen. I always carry flares, EPIRB, and of course the two-way radio. And down the bottom underneath there, I've got a Type 2 offshore jacket, as well as my normal jackets that you see me wear. Whew, she's a bloody hot day, and we've actually lost power to the house. It's gonna be off for at least six hours, they reckon, so. Got the generator running for the house. It's running a lot of the house, but it's just so hot. So we're gonna hook the ski back on and just go for an adventure. Just finished packing the land strata, got the jet ski on, gonna get Victoria and we're gonna head out there. That was been going on and off for a couple of weeks now and it's really made me think I wanna put solar panels on my roof. And then I'm completely independent out here. I'm running off rainwater, solar power, and it's just a whole lot better for the environment and a whole lot better for everyone. So I might look into that soon. Anyway. Let's roll on out there and see what happens. Down the beach, just caught up with Jacka. He's down here too, so we're both gonna drop the skis in and just sort of go for a cruise. Vicky and Strider here also. It's looking pretty nice. A little bit of a breeze coming this way. You reckon it's not gonna be very long before it comes in, so. We just filmed a couple of lemon sharks and it looked like they were eating something. Didn't get a good look. Sonny's went in the water. 
<laughs> oh no, they're here. <laughs> Strider just water. knocked on us as Nikki fell in. Come on, Strider. Woo! <laughs> oh. Let's keep exploring and see what today brings. It's just turning absolutely beautiful. <laughs> In 1907, this cargo ship carrying cattle and a few crew hit this reef here, so it's over 100 years old. Sadly, the cows didn't make it, but the crew all swam to the shore and they all lived. And here we are 100 years later. I'm gonna hop in the water and take you guys in the drink. Let's go. You don't mean nothing to me. E-boys like you every dinner. I don't believe what you preach. You're just a rookie beginner. Hang out with boys on the street. Like that will make you a winner. Nothing? Uh -oh. <laughs> There's a ledge just that way a little bit. We just pulled up to a beautiful spot. It's in a sanctuary zone, so there's no spear fishing or fishing, which I love, you know? I think there should be always sanctuary zones everywhere we go. So hopefully there's heaps of fish home. It is, I like, I think it's about 20 meters deep here, and I only got a GoPro that goes to 10 meters. So I'm gonna push it, see if I can get some shots. Otherwise I'll move in a bit closer and we'll go from there. <laughs> Strider! Well, we all just went for a swim, Strider, Vicky, and myself. We found this ledge, heaps of glass, fish, heaps of bait. It was beautiful. Whoa, Strider! <laughs> but uh, we're gonna keep exploring around, heading back to where we come from. And uh, yeah, you never know what we're gonna bump into. It's absolutely beautiful right now, and super, super hot. Here we are. Good girl, straight up. We're just gonna have a little snack down here at the beach. That wind's actually just come in just then. Strata's still in the water. And then from here. We'll probably end up back down the beach this afternoon or at Mossland for a little bit of a cook up of that mahi I got. Thank you. Ready? Fuel strata? 
Strata. Oh, there's a ray there. Strata, hey. Strata, leave it. Strata. G'day, mate. Nice to meet you. Back out here at Mossland, Victoria's just getting ready to go to work. Jackson's just rocked up because we have to do like a cyclone cleanup. There's a potential cyclone on our doorstep in about a week. It may or may not come this far up the coast, but because it's cyclone season, we basically have to clean up Mossland. <laughs> what happened then? <laughs> just jacked down the beach with Strider. She's just behind me down there, ready to kill the drone. About to get her up in the air. The sun's on its way down on top of the land strider here. And I'll see you guys probably first thing tomorrow morning for another adventure. Good morning everyone, Vicky Strider and myself, we're out in the jet ski. It is absolutely beautiful right now, hot, calm, clear. And we're just gonna go for a cruise today, go for a free dive, see what we can find, see if we can run into any animals or sharks or dolphins, turtles. It's turning on right now, so we're gonna get it to exploring and see what happens. Whoa! Where's the fish, Strider? This is so nice. Just pulled up because the water looks like a swimming pool. It is so clear and beautiful. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to? Never wanted to end. There's a damn squid swimming up to the jet ski. We've been on anchor, we're just swimming around. It's coming straight up to the jet ski. I don't have any tackle on me, so I can't catch it for lunch. Oh, maybe I got, wait, wait, wait. Watch that strider. Oh my God, I've actually got one. And I got leader. Hey Vicky, can you hold this? Yeah. Ah! Oh, yes. Did the squid jigs, the squid jigs just fell off? <laughs> no. It just snapped off. Oh, that squid's lucky day. Go, Vicky. Vicky's just learning how to free dive, so I've set her a challenge of going to get the squid jig off the bottom. It's about seven meters here. She's been doing really well on touching the bottom. I just gave her a few more tips. You got it. You were down for ages. <laughs> Good work. Well, you have passed the first challenge. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was a good little swim. We've seen a big noise blowy, a sleeping ray, squid, heaps of fish, a little school of barracuda on the bottom there when we were just hanging around, cruising along here. That wind's come up a little bit, but it's absolutely beautiful right now and clear, so we'll keep heading that way and see what we can find. What's going on here? Looks like it's been shot, unfortunately. That really bothers me. That's a size goat fish. I'm not going to keep it because I don't know how long it's been floating there. A shark will eat it, but if these guys are going to spear fish, whatever you shoot, you should keep and eat. That's, they're actually quite good eating those goat fish, so, and it's size, so I'm not sure why, unless they've ripped off the spear and died later. But that's the most important part about spear fishing is just taking what we need. So if you do shoot something, you do land it, just take it home with you um, and make sure you don't waste any of it. Oh, I think it's a leopard shark. It could be. Might hop in and investigate. Me and Vicky's gonna go for another swim. There's a bit of a ledge action going on behind us and we're just gonna go explore it. And that's about it. <laughs> Have
Have you ever looked at it like this? Like every spot, every bommy, every different, I guess, lagoon, bay, mangrove system, ecosystem, whatever. It's like a fish city or a fish town, you know? And there's all different residents, they have their own home, and you know, there's different, you know, it's just kind of like Finding Nemo, in a sense. Back at Mossland now, but on the way in, you can see the ocean for the drive back to Mossland, and it's still so nice. So what I'm doing is I'm just dropping Vicky and Strider off. Strider's staying home because we've been like three days in a row now, and it is so hot, she's getting a little bit burnt. I'm just gonna leave her home. Vicky's gotta get ready uh, for work this afternoon slash tonight, so she's just gonna chill with Strider. I'm gonna grab a couple of fishing rods and a bit more zinc, a bit more cream, get some water, have a quick bite to eat, and then I'm getting straight back into the land Strider. Booster maybe like half an hour down launching and I'm gonna try to go for a troll or something like that. I did see some birds working right out in the distance on the horizon, so I might go check them out if the weather holds up and it stays pretty nice. Grab it. Go on, on your bed. Bye. Bye. Oh. I need my water bottle. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay. All right, let's go, we're on. Oh, it's looking glassy. Oh my God, it's so hot. Ah, the sea strider is actually out of action at the moment. I was going to use it yesterday with the boys and the day before I went to start it up and just to check it all and the batteries were dead for some reason. So we think the solar panel is given way because otherwise it should be charged 24 seven. That's how we set, set it up. So the auto spark is going to come around and check all that out for us. So that's why I'm doing all the missions in the ski at the moment, which is cool. All right, got the rod in there. That's all good. Close that. Let's bloody go. See you later, Mossland. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, man. Done some missions the last couple of days. Hope you guys are enjoying this kind of video. I'm sort of just like, I guess, vlogging all my missions. Sometimes I wouldn't film this much. But I'm doing it anyway, so let me know in the comments if you're liking this. And yeah, let's get out there. At the beach, it's pretty nice, actually. It's just... Man, I'm getting cooked. I'm gonna reapply. Look my third lot of zinc and sunscreen I put on today. Oh. If someone told me two years ago that YBS would be where it is right now and I have these opportunities to do all this stuff, I would just be like, no way, man. That's not gonna happen. So, anything's possible in the future. I'm pumped up. I'm ready for 2021. And all right for now, anyway, before I get way too carried away, let's get in the drink. Let's launch the ski and get out there. The seat's so hot, I have to wet it. I've been my butt cooking, man. Oh, it's such a weird feeling doing this without Strider. I don't like it, but I have to do it every now and then because like, she's, she's just going to cook otherwise. But right, I'll leave the land Strider there. It's beautiful high tide. Oh. Beaten by the wind, I thought this was gonna happen. It was definitely a race, but I lost. It's just pumping around the corner. It's protected in this bay right here, so it looks beautiful, but around the corner and out the back where I wanted to go fishing, wanted to go trolling, maybe to get a Mac or something, it is out of control out there. So it's uh, probably still glassy around the corner because there's a storm brewing over and it's sort of like where the wind line is. Well, I found the glass off. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna last very long. It's like pretty much right behind me where the wind's coming, so. Wow, it's beautiful, but I'm gonna keep moving that way. Back at the land strider. There my baby is right there. I'm gonna put her on and cruise straight back to Moss Land. And I'll see you guys back at Moss Land. Three forty-seven. It's 40 degrees. <laughs> 40 degrees this afternoon right now. It must have got to like 45 or something today. Back out here at Mustang, guys. Victoria's just gone to work, so it's just me and Strider. I just prepped up some mahi. All I'm gonna do tonight is cook it in some butter and some lemon, something really, really easy. I'll probably cook it in the next half an hour, actually, because I'm starving, having early dinner, late lunch. Some good news about the sea strider. Jackson just sent me a message saying it's ready to go apparently. So I've got to give him a call and see exactly what was up with that. But she's all fixed. We're going to hop in the buggy, take the few little off cuts that are from the mahi down to the uh, beach there and then get into cooking that. 
I just went through some of my footage from the last couple of days and god damn it, one of the GoPros, I don't know, something happened and it shit itself. So the whole file is corrupt, like the whole SD card is corrupt. But it was only the card that, it was only the GoPro they used for a bit of stuff around the place and I actually used it for one afternoon filling in that whole mahi mahi. So unfortunately guys, I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it. So you're not going to see any filleting of the mahi mahi even though a bloody Renya's all through it. I'm a bit annoyed with that, but hey, first world problems, baby. Come on, Australia, let's go. Let's get into this. I'm starving. Come on, up you get. Go on up. Good girl. She's bloody beautiful down the beach still. All day it's been nice. Righto, let's get into some tuckers, right? I'm starving. A couple of things here, guys. I thought that Victoria's grabbed the biggest lemon that I've ever grown from my garden. Turns out it's an orange. Second of all, I thought this was a lemon. Turns out it's a lime. So I'm gonna go get a lemon from the garden right now, but I don't wanna waste these. So I might put a splash of each in and see, just see what happens. I've never cooked with, with this before, so. <laughs> My garden's not really a garden anymore, guys. I've kind of killed everything because it is so bloody hot. So I let it go. It can do it at once until it gets a bit cooler. But the lemon tree is still going off. Hello, sweetie. Ooh. Ooh. I got two for me, one for Vicky and one for Strider. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on there from the garden. A little bit of lime. Orange. A little bit of orange there. Master Chef Brody. Alright guys, let me show you what I'm working with here. Got a little bit of green shit on there. Got the orange, lemon, lime, butter. Uh, mahi mahi and of course I've got striders bit here which I've lightly cooked obviously no citrus on this it's just plain fish I cooked that one first that's yours go on get in it good oh it smells beautiful here we go cheers guys oh wow That's actually beautiful. <laughs> Strider's off. Wow, I'm surprised. I can actually really taste the orange in there as well. I freaking love it. Right, guys, that's it for another episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this one. A little bit longer, maybe. A bit more action. A few more, a few more adventures that sometimes I probably wouldn't even normally put in there. Um, had a great time. Got the mahi from the ski, which I've been trying to do for so long. But please, I'll say it again. I do not recommend diving on your own, no matter who you are. Young fella, old fella, even experienced diver like myself. You just shouldn't do it. So I've set a bad example in this video. It's something that I wanted to do since I was very young. Um, I did make sure that I, uh, I looked after myself and I did all the things possible to make sure it's the safest thing I could do, but I still do not encourage it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Like it, leave a comment if you want, subscribe if you guys haven't already. What do you reckon, Strider? Smack the rest of this and go down the beach, get the drone up. I lied, it's not the end of the episode. I'm gonna go down the beach after this, so I'll bring you guys with us. All right, okay, go on, get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys back down the beach. It's a wrap, baby. <laughs> oh, we gotta go, that sun's almost gone. Look at that big cloud at the back there, that's gonna light up. Ah, uh, just quickly take the ski off. Ah, uh, no, we'll keep the ski on, actually. You never know, we could even drop it in. Oh, we'll see what happens. Come on, Strider, in the car, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, good girl. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Here we go, Strata Moss. Get that zip up. Oh. oh, that thing is psycho. I've just seen some lightning. It's a big storm coming in. It's, oh, it's unbelievable. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to bring the ski because we're on. We'll drop it in right now. It won't take us very long at all. And then we'll just start 
heading towards that and just watch the sunset happen and hopefully that storm comes in and I don't even know. Let's get the ski in and just see what happens. Ah! Just leave the land strider there. The tide's going out and I'm going to be half an hour, whatever. There ain't going to be another person for miles around here. Let's get on the ski strider. Look at it glow. Come on, Shreddy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Inside my mind We would dance the night away To the morning light Can I give you all of my love Till we dance the night away Can I give you all of my love Till we dance the night away And we give you all my love All my love All my love And we give Lightning right now, whoa! I could almost just float here forever. I've got all I need. Righto guys, I think that's it for now. We're just gonna sit here till it goes dark probably. Watch that storm roll in, it's just getting good. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for everything. Anything you like to say, Strider? Cheers guys.